a telephone line has note down the problem a telephone line has 30 ohms per kilometer 30 ohms per kilometer and inductance value is 100 milli henry per kilometer 100 milli henry per kilometer and g value is given as 0 and capacitance value is given 20 micro farad per kilometer 20 micro farad per kilometer so at f is equal to 1 kilohertz determine the characteristic impedance z not and propagation constant gamma and phase velocity u r v phase velocity u r v so this is also straight forward problem so r value is given l value is given z is 0 and c is equal to 20 microfarad per kilometer and frequency is given but only thing is while substituting the values for r you have to divide with it is 30 ohms per kilometer so in the formula we will have only per meter we will have only per meter so while substituting the r value so what you have to do means 30 by kilo means 10 power 3 or you can write 30 into 10 power minus 3 similarly l value it is given 100 milli henry per kilometer so 100 milli means 10 power of minus 3 and again in the denominator it is per kilometer so 10 power 3 so this value will become 100 into 10 power minus 6 so g anyway it is zero again for c c it is given 20 microfarad per kilometer so 20 micro means 10 power of minus 6 and kilometers again it is 10 power of 3 so it will become 20 into 10 power of minus 9 farad per meter so this is henry per meter and this is ohms per meter so we in the formula we, we have only per meter ohms per meter henry per meter or moles or siemens per meter per capacitance it is farad per meter so this care you have to take while substituting in the expression this is the thing you have to do while substituting in the formula so this is the value that you will get if you convert it into rectangle form if you multiply and if you convert this into polar form so it will be point 6287 at an angle of 87.265 degrees all are in degrees and denominator g is 0 as it is given so j means it is 90 degrees so j means it is 90 degrees so simply omega omega kilohertz means it is 10 power 3 10 power 3 so 2 pi f and c value is given 20 microfarad per kilometer micro means 10 power of minus 6 kilometer means 10 power of 3 you have to divide so this is the value that you will get so cross check your results so this is the final answer for the characteristic impedance so if you divide these two numbers and angle will be if you subtract 87.265 and 90 degrees it will be around 2.735 and while taking square root you have to divide this by 2 so 2.7 by 2 means it is will be around 1.3 so for this you have to take square root for magnitude part you have to take square root for the angle part you have to divide with So is it clear?
So cross check your results. So rectangular to polar, polar to rectangular conversion, you have to be familiar. So at least learn now how to convert rectangular to polar, polar to rectangular. In exam problem comes means you have to know how to convert rectangular to polar, polar to rectangular conversion. Otherwise, you will not be able to do the problem. These are simple straightforward problems. So simply substitute whatever value is given and then you have to do rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular conversion. So then similarly, you have to cons calculate the propagation constant also. Now instead of dividing these two numbers, you have to multiply the magnitude part and you have to add the angle part. So for propagation constant, so you have to multiply the angles. So this will be R1 at an angle of theta1 and this will be R2 at an angle of theta2. So both angles you have to add 90 plus 87 means 177. The fractional part is 265. So while taking square root, this you have to divide with by 2. So 87, 177 by 2 means it will be 88 and the corresponding. So for this part, you have to take square root. So this is the value of the propagation constant. So again, if you convert this result, it into rectangular form, polar to rectangle, you will get, this is the value. So this is alpha plus J beta. So this beta value is required in order to find the phase velocity. Phase velocity, it is given by, what it is? It is omega by beta. So that's why this, polar to rectangular conversion is required back here. So if you convert this polar form to rectangular form, you will get the imaginary part is nothing but the beta, phase constant, whereas real part is nothing but the attenuation constant. So beta is 8.882 into 10 power of minus Any doubt? So simply you have to convert rectangular to polar and polar to rectangular conversion. So even if you know the formula, if you don't know how to convert, you will not be able to solve the problem. Now the phase constant is simply straightforward. Omega by beta. Omega is nothing but 2 pi f. In the problem statement, it is given f is equal to 1 kilohertz. Kilo means 10 power 3. So this value will be 10 power 3 hertz. Omega means 2 pi f, right? Omega means 2 pi f. So 2 pi into f into 10 power of 3 beta from the propagation constant we got. So then units is velocity units is meters per second. So 7.069 into 10 power of 5 meters per second meters per second. If you like the video, please share, like and subscribe. Hit the bell icon to get latest video updates.